Hello children, today in this video we are going to discuss chapter 16, it is quadrilaterals. So first of all, what are quadrilaterals children? Any polygon having four sides or four angles, four sides or four angles, it is called the quadrilateral. And quad means four, so therefore it is known as a quadrilateral. There are many types of quadrilaterals that we will discuss later on in this chapter children. Now, adjacent sides, what are the adjacent sides? Sides having one end point common like here AD and AB. In this A is common. So AD and AB are the adjacent sides. Next is opposite sides which are opposite to each other. Any sides which are opposite to each other they are known as the opposite sides. Next children it is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles means if I will say angle A and angle D. These are the adjacent angles or angle A and angle B. These are the adjacent angles. And angle A is opposite to angle C. These are the opposite angles which are opposite to each other. Angle A and angle C. Angle B and angle D. These are the opposite angles. Next is children interior and exterior of a quadrilateral. Interior means inside. And exterior means outside. If anything is inside the quadrilateral, it is in the interior of a quadrilateral. If anything is in the outside of a quadrilateral, it is in the exterior of a quadrilateral. Next children, types of quadrilateral. First one is parallelogram. From the name it is clear, its sides are parallel to each other. So, parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which the two pair of sides is parallel to each other. In this sides are parallel also and equal also. Children one thing more if I will join here P and R and Q and S these are known as the diagonals. PR is a diagonal, QS is a diagonal. So these are the diagonals. Now properties of a parallelogram children. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. I have told you earlier and opposite angles are also equal. In this angle P is equal to angle R and angle Q is equal to angle S. So opposite angles are also equal. Third property is diagonals bisect each other. Children bisect means cutting in equal portions or cutting in equal parts. So diagonal bisect each other means OP is equal to OR and OS is equal to OQ. So diagonals bisect each other. Next quadrilateral is a rhombus. In rhombus all the four sides are equal. This is a rhombus. Properties are opposite sides are parallel. Opposite angles are equal. Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite angles will be equal. All sides are equal. In a rhombus all the sides are equal. And diagonal bisect each other at right angle means OA is equal to OC. It means diagonals are bisecting each other. And OD is equal to OB. But they have told you at right angle means wherever they are cutting each other they will form a 90 degree angle. They will form a right angle. Second is children rectangle. Rectangle opposite sides are equal. Equal also and parallel also. And each angle is equal to 90. So here are the properties. Opposite sides are equal as well as parallel also. Opposite sides are equal also and parallel. Children parallel lines never meet each other. Okay. So you should know this that these are the parallel lines. They will never meet each other. And each angle is of 90 degree. All the angles angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D all are equal to 90 degree. Diagonals are equal and bisect each other. A, C is equal to B, D. Diagonals are equal and bisect also each other means OA is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. So they are bisecting also. Next is, next is children square. Square all the sides are equal in this. All the sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel also. So properties are opposite sides are parallel. All sides are equal. Each angle is equal to 90 degree. Angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. All are equal to 90 degree. Diagonals are equal and bisect each other at 90 degree. Diagonals means BD is equal to AC and they bisect means OA is equal to OC, OB is equal to OD and they form a 90 degree angle also with each other. Next quadrilateral is children, it is a trapezium. Trapezium, 
In this, only one pair of side is parallel, children. You can see a quadrilateral having one pair of opposite side are parallel, are called trapezium. Only one side is parallel, another side is non-parallel. It is not parallel to each other. In a trapezium, if non-parallel sides are equal, then it is called the isosceles trapezium. If the non-parallel side, if their length is same, then it is called the isosceles trapezium. Next topic, children, in this, it is polygon. Now, what is a polygon? Any closed figure is called a polygon. A closed figure bounded by three or more line segments, it is called a polygon. Even quadrilateral is also known as a polygon, triangle is also a polygon. So any closed figure which is having three or more sides, it is called a polygon. Next is children, sum of interior angles of a polygon. For this, there is one formula which is given to you on page number 237. This is a formula. It is n minus 2 into 120. 180 sorry. n minus 2 into 180. That is whenever you have to calculate the sum of the interior angles. Suppose this is the quadrilateral. I want to calculate the sum of all the angles of this quadrilateral. So children for here n is number of sides. So how many sides are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 minus 2 is 4 minus 2 will be is equals to 2 and 2 into 180 is equal to 360. So it is a quadrilateral. Sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is equals to 360. See here. Quadrilateral sum of the angles is equals to 360. Okay. So by this formula you can easily calculate if the number of sides are given to you. Like in triangle sum of the three sides is uh, sum of the three angles is 180. In quadrilateral, sum of the four angles is 360. In pentagon, penta means five, five sides. So in pentagon, sum of the five angles will be equals to 540. By this formula only we have calculated. N is the number of sides. In hexagon, hexagon means six sides. So six minus two into 180. So like this, you can calculate children, the sum of the interior angle of uh, any polygon, any polygon which you want to calculate. Now children come to the exercise, exercise 16.1. In this exercise only questions 4 to 12 are there. So these questions you will do in your uh, book only. Question 5th you will do in your book. 4th you will do in notebook that we will do later on. So first of all 5th question state whether the following statements is true or false. A quadrilateral has four, uh, 5 sides. So is it true? No it is false. So write false here. A quadrilateral has 2 diagonals. Yes, there are two diagonals only. So it is true. Next, diagonals of a square bisect each other. Properties we have done? True. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and parallel. True. A parallelogram with one angle of 90 is called a rectangle. True. In rectangle, one angle or all the angles are equals to 90. Children, question 6 also you will do in book. Complete each of the following to make it is a true statement. The diagonals of a rectangle are equal. If you know the properties, you can do it very easily children. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if it has one pair of opposite side when it is a parallelogram equal and parallel. A parallelogram which has one pair of adjacent side equal is called rhombus. The diagonals of a rhombus or square bisect each other at right angle. So diagonals of a rhombus or a square they bisect at each other at 90 degree. <coughs> Next, a quadrilateral has dash angles and dash diagonals. So, four angles and two diagonals. Next, children, state whether the following statement is true or false. A rectangle is a square. False. So, like this, you can do the rest of the parts also, children. Thank you. Rest questions we will do in next video. Thank you, children.